This is the Mastermind deck, an effect by Chris Kenworthy. Uh, it's an any card at any number type of effect. Uh, it comes like this, um, but the sleeve comes off and inside it's a standard bicycle tuck case, uh, just in case you're wondering about that. But the effect goes like this. Um, you start off by showing the deck of 52 cards, all shuffled up, 52 different cards, so 52 potential different outcomes. Um, but you show that one of the cards in the deck is blue, and that's your prediction card, which you leave to one side. The spectator's going to choose a card, um, but they're not going to do it face up, because you want it to be random. You spread the cards face down, say to the spectator, uh, just touch any card, in fact slide it out without looking at it and leave it there. And the spectator has a genuinely free choice, let's say they go for that card. You then remind the spectator that they could have chosen any one of these cards. And your prediction card, which has been there since the beginning, just happens to be the two of diamonds. And the card the spectator has freely chosen, somehow just happens to be the Two of Diamonds. Now at that point, the card goes back into the deck. Um, and the deck is shuffled. You then say to your spectator, right, your card is lost in the deck. Could be anywhere. Give me any number between 1 and 52. Let's say the spectator gives you the number 14. If you like, you can hand the deck to the spectator and ask them to deal 14 cards face down onto the table. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's the 14th card. But it could have been any number. If it had been a larger number, it could have been any one of these cards. If it had been a lower number, it could have been one of these cards. But the spectator freely named the number 14, and that just happens to be, somehow, their two of diamonds. And that's the Mastermind deck by Chris Kenworthy.